Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. We've shot episodes of huge shows all over the country, but the truth is there's some smaller and even mid-sized shows all over the place. We're actually at the White Plains Show right outside New York. We're going to take you around, show you some really cool animals. You're watching Snake Bites. First things that really caught my eye at this show is this black and white Argentine tegu. This is pretty much a full grown animal, although they will get a little bit bigger and a little bit fatter. What's really cool is when these guys are babies, they actually are green and blue and really awesome colors. As they get older, they actually mature into this adult color. What's really interesting is these guys are actually scavengers. The guy that owns this animal actually told me today it ate some ham, some cherries, strawberries, and even tried to eat a Yankee fan. What I have here is an emerald tree boa, and what I find really amazing about this is there's green tree pythons that come from the other side of the earth. These guys are actually from all over South America and the green tree pythons come from Australia and Southeast Asia. It's just amazing how you can have very similar evolution with animals that are on completely different sides of the planet. What's also interesting is that emerald tree boas actually have live young and green tree pythons lay eggs. These guys have some of the largest teeth of any non-venomous snake. But as you can see, most of them are pretty mellow, although you really don't want to get tagged by something like this. This is a Molendorus rat snakes. They come from Southeast Asia and North Vietnam. They're sometimes called hundred flower rat snakes because of the pattern on their dorsals look like flowers. They come from really cool areas, often found in caves. You'd never want to keep these guys above 76 or 78 degrees because they really don't do well. They eat small prey items and they're really not bred in captivity. So whenever I get a chance to check them out, I always do. They max out at maybe six or seven foot, so they're a pretty impressive snake. All right, guys, it's Cow's Question of the Week. Now, uh, the New York Reptile Show is one of our small reptile shows we attend. I actually prefer those over the larger ones. It's not as busy. You get to interact with the people a little bit more. Outside of the reptile business, uh, I like to collect sports memorabilia, so I, I attend all kinds of shows like that. Um, AA meetings, things of that sort. But uh, I want to know from you guys. Text or video comment below. Let me know what kind of shows or conventions you'd like to attend. Let me know. You guys know that I love Australian pythons, but after my recent trip to Australia, I've really been nuts about them. And I actually stayed in an area that there was a bunch of diamond pythons in the wild. We went out looking for them, but unfortunately we were unsuccessful, and I was really bummed out. But whenever I get a chance to mess with these guys, I have to hold one of them. What's cool about these guys is that they actually like a cooler climate. They'll actually be in areas that are even in the 50 degrees at night, and that's the best way to breed these guys. The reason they call these guys diamond pythons is actually you can see the little diamond patterns all on them. They'll actually have yellow flecks on each and every scale. They're absolutely incredible animals and you don't see these guys captive produced nearly as much as you'll see a carpet python or a jungle carpet python. But I tell you what, these guys are definitely a hidden gem. One of the coolest things about reptile shows, at least for me, is when I can actually pick up something new. And I used to work with these snakes years ago. They're called Maclots pythons. And I got rid of them a while back, but I've always missed them. I tell you what, they have a lot of personality, and every now and then they can be kind of bitey. But you know what, we're gonna go ahead in this bag. This is the very first time that I've actually seen this animal. And I hear it has a little bit of an attitude. And this is a pretty big one. They normally don't get very big like this. This is about as big of an animal as I've seen. This is actually a male. And I tell you what, it looks like it's been fed pretty good. And uh, as you can see, it's actually really tame. It's not a problem whatsoever. When I used to breed these guys years ago, they used to have about 20 to 25 eggs. And uh, the babies are just absolutely insanely mental. They will just go after you constantly. So again, this is really a beautiful specimen. It's got to be a good seven foot long, which again, seven foot for a Maclise python is a pretty big animal. I tell you what, this guy is really puppy dog tame, and I tell you, I am super happy to just be going home with a new animal.
When going around these shows, I don't often highlight ball pythons because we have so many ball pythons back at the shop that we're always showing you guys. But when I came across this animal, there was no doubt I had to show it to you. This is actually an orange ghost genetic stripe. Again, any double recessive morph in ball python is absolutely ridiculous because it takes a one in 16 shot just to get it. That means it could take several years to raise an animal up and then maybe another several years before you actually hit. And this animal is absolutely beautiful. There are a lot of cool shows happening all over the country. For example, this Chicago show happens twice a month. And as you can see, there are a lot of cool animals. Let's take a look. For this week's Common of the Week on the Top 10 Coolest Snake Clutches episode, the question was, what plans do you have this summer? And RN Cat said, This weekend I'm going fishing in the Caribbean. Then next weekend I'm headed to New Orleans, then Brazil. Yep, life is good. Wow, Caribbeans, New Orleans, Brazil, that sounds like an awesome summer. I wish I could join you on that one. Until next time, you guys keep sending me creative comments. I'm going to feature you on a future episode. So there it is, the White Plains Reptile Show, and chances are, even if you don't live in the New York area, there's probably a really cool reptile show right in your area. Make sure to check it out and support the reptile community. As a matter of fact, if you know of a show in your area or you're a show promoter, make sure you comment down below or send me an email. I'll be happy to put a link up on our community site over at snakebites.ning.com. Until next time, you've been watching Snake Bites.